What is going on today? Hope everyone is having a great Saturday. Today is currently Friday. Uh, today we are going to start off the day by starting a little project on the trailer. We haven't done a trailer video in a while. So, if you don't know, let me show it to you again. This is my PJ 35 foot hydraulic deck over trailer. I did do a video going over it completely. Um, I'll put the link to that in the description if you haven't seen that. So, this is the trailer that I used to tow around my other truck in that garage, the 2005 Dodge competition truck. That's what this is for. I also had a Razor that I brought to events with me that sat in the front here truck goes towards the back. So what we're going to be working on is actually some lighting. We're going to put some more lighting up there on the top of the neck for night events for the upcoming season. So what we have here and before we start. So I just want to start off by saying if this was something that was going to be getting constant use and tons of time being on, I probably would have gone with uh, something like a rigid like I usually go for everything else. But seeing that this is for my trailer, it only gets used on the weekends. I don't do hot shotting with it. I don't really do any type of commercial work with it. It's just uh, for towing that other truck around and some other miscellaneous things. But it's not constant use and there's not a whole lot of night events. So this is really something that I want to have just in case kind of thing not really something that's going to be used a lot so with that being said we went with some tractor supply uh traveler whatever their brand is called but these were from tractor supply and these were actually on super discounted i think they were like 80 or 90 bucks also what's nice with this is they have a light installation harness and also, if I can get it out of the bag here, a wiring splitter. So basically this will work uh, to connect both of these through this nice weather sealed harness in conjunction with this. Actually here, I think this is what I did. See, they even have a diagram with the splitter. One light bar, harness, two light bars, splitter, harness. That's what we're gonna be working on. My lovely assistant, Jesse, is actually still in a business meeting, if you want to call it that, so he will be here a little bit later. But as you can see, I'm trimmed up the beard a little bit here. Look like a little baby now. Still ain't get a haircut, so I'm wearing a hat. Garofalo Enterprises, by the way. All right, so for the goal for today, I think with the sun setting on us fast here as usual, I think we're just gonna try and get these up here, maybe get them mounted and go from there. All right, so the whole goal is to really make these as intrusive as possible, I guess, if that's a correct term here. So what I think I wanna do is I wanna mount one kinda of like so, right up here so it's kinda of out of the way. Um, I could even go up here, but then that might shine and hit here. So I think this is good. That's not really gonna to affect too much there. And then I think the second one I wanna try and mount down here so uh, when you're chaining the truck you can get the low angle of the deck and then also this will be the high angle of the deck so I think that's where I'm gonna mount them um, like you saw before I just put these brackets here so I can mark them with a paint pen so I can drill through drill through there I don't really uh, let me move the camera down you know, I could mount one way down here and bolt it through the toolbox there to really shine on the deck, possibly a little bit better, but I don't really want to have this thing sticking out, you know, I guess nothing would really be that close to it anyway, but I just didn't want to lose any, you know, say I did want to use the full length of the deck, I don't want this sticking out way out here. I mean, it wouldn't be too bad, but 
I don't know, I just think it looks a little bit cleaner this way. And obviously this thing does have some spread to it. So if I put it down here, maybe half that beam is gonna be in the deck anyway. But I like this. And I like this up here like so. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And I'm sure all the other trailer companies probably do it as well, but they make these nice uh, holes and down there, actually on both sides, uh, pass-throughs, that way the wiring can all be done nice, neat, uh, tucked off to the side like you see there, so you can hide everything real well. So they give you all the hardware to mount all the brackets like so and then they give you all the other hardware but the problem is and I guess it's just me but look at how long these bolts are obviously you can tell we're only going we're not going through that much stuff so I'm gonna see if I have some shorter bolts here to make it look a little nicer. All right, no such luck on the shorter bolts. Everything that I had was different lengths. So I had some short ones, some long ones, but we're just gonna use these for mock-up for now until I can get nicer, newer, shorter, all the same length bolts. so this actually might be common sense but i'm actually kind of glad that i don't have the correct bolts now which slows me down a little bit so i got all the holes drilled in the top and the bottom uh we're just going to vacuum all this stuff up uh and what i'm going to do and obviously this like i mentioned this might be common sense but before i put the bolts in i'm actually going to get a small paintbrush and paint the inside of here trailers are really notorious for rusting out so anytime you're drilling any kind of hole you know you definitely want to make sure you're hitting that with some paint inside there before you throw the bolts through it all righty guys there you have it let me bring you a little up close And obviously nothing's tightened just to give you like a quick uh, sample of what it is gonna look like just sitting up there I think it looks pretty good it should get the job done all right so like I mentioned I'm gonna take everything apart now I'll just throw everything in the shop uh, get some paint touch up those uh, holes in the steel where we drilled through and maybe just take a quick look at the harness just to make sure everything's gonna line up good. All right, so it's a little hard to see kind of in here, but I hooked in the splitter, ran it through here, uh, and then connected to the bottom one. You can kind of see there's some excess wiring here that I'm gonna have to deal with. But then from here, from this one plug, uh, and then uh, it's locked. The box is locked, but you don't really need to see that. This one plug and then is going to hook up into this plug on this harness now the biggest thing that's going to be a pain in the butt and you could probably already see it is it's nice if you're going far distances but look at all of this wire uh we're literally probably going two feet into the battery um which you know they give you a little bit of the wire here which is good uh and then the relay and then it's kind of nice because the switch i might actually route the switch somewhere that's a little easier uh to see outside uh, of the toolbox maybe uh, if I get a weatherproof switch I'll probably might get a different switch that way I don't have to drill that big of a hole I'll probably get one that has just a uh, regular toggle uh, very small hole to drill but I might have to do something with this wire but seeing that everything's sealed I really don't want to do that I might just have to kind of leave it together like this even though I really hate doing that but we will cross that bridge when we get to it for now that is where we're at. I think it looks great. I think it's gonna do exactly what I want it to do if and when I ever need to do loading uh, at nighttime. So I'm gonna disassemble everything, like I said, get some paint, paint those holes. That is probably gonna do it for tonight until I get some better hardware. 
All right, holes are all touched up. Got them all painted inside there. So I actually remember a question somebody was asking how the finish was holding up on this specific trailer. Um, great so far, actually. I did uh, read, you know, PJs aren't the best as far as finish goes and keeping that finish nice. But as you see, I park it under pavement and I really don't use it in the winter time. It's really just for towing that other truck. Um, so I do take those precautions to try and keep the finished as rust free as possible. So no complaints there really thus far. If you guys do have any other video ideas that I could do to the trailer, trailer modifications if you will, leave it in the comment below. I'll see if that's something that I might be able to do and make a video out of it, but I'm not really sure. I have light bars on it. I have the winch already on it. Um, I'm not really sure what else I could really do to say customize a trailer. Not really sure. But if you do, leave it in the comment section below. Come on. Come on. What? What is it? Holy crap. What? Is it dinner time? Is it dinner time? Okay, okay. Currently, let me get some more light in here. Oh, that's not it. Hey, some more light. So I am currently actually home alone. Jesse's not here. The wife's not here. Currently finishing up the video that went up yesterday, I guess you would call it. So just finishing that up, I am at a little bit of a weird, uh, with that test that I just took, it kind of messed up my upload schedule. I have been trying to upload um, every day at lunchtime, and I think that's what I am going to try to do from now on. So yesterday's video probably went up pretty late, but I'm gonna try and from now on upload at 12 o'clock. We are getting the dogs food right now. What? Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Good boys. Alright, so if you haven't seen in other videos, I actually have or we actually have, the wife and I, actually have two terrier mixes. Uh, they are on the smaller side. I know a lot of people have bigger dogs, medium-sized dogs, but our dogs actually go to work with my wife, but they need it to be smaller for, you know, the UPS guy, all the delivery guys that, you know, get scared of medium, bigger sized dogs. So that's why we have smaller dogs. I love all kinds of dogs. Oakley. Jackson, not J-A-C-K, it's J-A-X-O-N. Hey! Get out of here! What? <laughs> Show everybody your new hairdo. Stop, right? I don't want to be like this. <gasps> oh, that's people, not my fault. People wear that way. Underneath the stove? Yeah. Nice hairdo. Stop. What? How else are you gonna be in the channel? I don't, I can't get it. You have to be in the channel. I know. With that board. How's that power stroke, man? Yeah, it's awful. Ah! It's terrible. <coughs> it is pretty sneaky sneaky. How was your thing? It sucked. Why? Actually, it really wasn't that bad. There's... Am I recording? Yes. Everyone else is a jerk off. Fred. <laughs> Fred, like, he's just a cool dude. He's Italian. He's like. Alright, Jesse, real quick. Yeah. Outro the video that I just recorded. You don't even know what it's about. You don't even know what I did. Just outro the Hope video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. What, what do we do? What do we, uh, uh... Holy shit. Enjoy it! Outro the video! Focus! Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give us a like. Give us a follow. Share it with your friends. See you guys in the next one.
Boom! Wow. Killing it. That one wasn't that bad. I'm getting better at this. Give him a karate chop. I need a jink. Drink. Give, him, give him a karate chop. I need a chink. And we out. Get out of here, Ryan. Oh, it's only no! Coffee, coffee, you don't you know. dare. You're not gonna get none with this food. <laughs>